Hey guys, it's Melanie and today I I have just been feeling like I need to make something. Do you guys ever feel that way where you just are no matter what you have to make the time to make something in your day? Um, so today I was kind of feeling that way and um, I put this picture up on Instagram. I'll, I'll show you the picture. After getting back from QuiltCon and uh, having that like in such a weekend of inspiration I just like had to make something so um, I pulled out a jelly roll that I have not really known what to do with it's a Carolyn Friedlander jelly roll um, botanics and you know I just decided you don't always have to know exactly what you're doing you don't always have to know have a plan you know, most of the time when I do sewing and, and projects, I have a plan. It's it's for a purpose. It's going to be on YouTube or it's going to, I have to have clear instructions and I have to know what I'm doing. You know, I was thinking you don't always have to know. You don't always have to have a plan and it's just good to start and to just go. And so isn't that true in life too? <laughs> so many of these things can be crossover into our lives. You don't always, you don't always have to have the right answers. You don't always have to know the next step. Um, but it's enough to just keep going and to start and to trust that it's going to all work out. And so, in a silly way, <laughs> I guess, I've been thinking about that in terms of my crafting and my sewing. I don't know how this quilt's going to turn out, but I'm just going to kind of go. I'm going to just have the freedom and create something um, expressive, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. But I thought, you know, leave me a comment below if you feel the same way ever. If you just have this, you just have to make something, you just have to express um, this inspiration that's kind of bottled up, I guess. So anyway, I'm just making strip sets out of the jelly roll, and I'm making sure that there's enough contrast in between each strip. We'll kind of see how it goes. Okay, so I am done with my strip sets. I made them all from that entire jelly roll, and uh, I'm going to press them, and then I'll probably work on it later tonight. My kids are waking up from quiet time, so... Uh, I'm done sewing. To, can you hear him? <laughs> My daughter is calling for me. Um, I wanted to show you really quick this uh, little thing I put on my sewing machine. It says you don't have to know just so from my little pep talk earlier. I put it on my sewing machine. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'll keep you guys updated on what I'm doing. Uh, I figured maybe I'll just do this little vlog style. Maybe it'll be fun. Hopefully it will turn out good and you guys will like it. But for now, I got mom duty. Bye. Hey guys, so it's first thing in the morning, so everyone is still asleep. And the dishwasher is running. I don't know if you can hear that in the background. But I wanted to show you what I've been working on with that quilt um, that I showed you with those strip sets. So I made these, let's see, like these units. And it's cut at a 60 degree angle. And those four strips. And then I kind of just, I thought, you know, this fabric really needed um, something very angular. This is the Carolyn Friedlander Botanics line of fabric. And she used to be an architect, so I feel like her designs really lend to having lots of angles. And um, so anyway, this is what I've been working on. So I think it'll be a good size quilt. When I'm done, next I need to make... Uh, these triangle pieces that will need to go in this space. Here's my sample that I made. So it's kind of going to look like that. So anyway, just keeping you updated on how this quilt is going. Sorry for the no makeup and like really messy hair. <laughs> it's seriously first thing in the morning and uh, I just thought I would fill you in before I did any more work on it and forgot to fill you in on this step. I don't know. So I'm excited about how it's turning out but We'll see what happens from here. Hey guys, so I wanted to give you an update on the quilt and kind of show you what I've been working on. So I finally figured out these like triangle pieces. It was a little bit tricky to get all of these points to match properly. Uh, it was a little bit tricky. I had to make a couple different ones um, in order to get it right. I even made myself like this little template and now I finally feel like I've got it down. <laughs> so I've got several blocks completed. I'll show you. You can see there's the completed block. 
So I wanted this video really just to give you an insight into kind of like how I create patterns and and just maybe give you a little bit of encouragement if you want to just create your own and just to be creative and expressive and I just thought I would bring you along on this journey with me so I finally figured it out and now I will be completing the quilt top and I'm going to send it to my friend in Texas who's going to long arm it for me so anyway you don't have to know just so and this was just a little vlog a video I hope you guys liked it leave me a comment below let me know what you thought if you want to see more videos like this if you thought that it was interesting and helpful even though it wasn't a tutorial per se let me know any of those details and um, I've got some fun videos coming up so thanks so much for watching and uh, happy sewing mm -hmm.